everyone. My name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and today I'd like to delight you with the creation of this amazing surface. And what I wanted to know is if you dropped a pebble in a pond, actually if you dropped two pebbles, what would it look like as the waves of those pebbles came together? And so mathematically, it's two waveforms colliding with each other. And uh, I was having trouble uh, doing the math. So I asked AI, I asked uh, Gemini actually, I prompted it and I said, please generate a CVS, CSV file of points. These points would be relative to a coordinate system where X and Y are on a plane and Z is out of the plane. There are 100 times 100 points that range from 00, zero Z1 to 0 to 100, 100, Z 10,000. And the variation of Z would be if the result of two waveforms, one that emanated from 0, 0, 0, and one that emanated from 100, 100, 0, collided, each waveform having a 5 amplitude and a 20 unit wavelength. So I didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, the next thing uh, that happened is it came back, uh, Gemini did, of course. Here is the generated CVS CSV file containing the coordinates for the interference pattern of two colliding waveforms, yada yada, and then it gave me a CSV file, at least it tried to, uh, but the CSV file didn't work, so it gave me the following Python program. <laughs> and so I uh, downloaded Python and I ran the Python program, and what I got was the points. Hey, that's amazing. So um, I did it a number of times and I got different uh, points. But anyway, I should show you um, how to uh, take the points and make a surface from them. So uh, I will hide the surface, Control B, and I'll bring up the points, Control W, and the points are really, are really elegant looking. Look at that. So here's the points. Um, there's 10,000 points, and um, they're arranged in a 100 by 100 matrix. And of course, uh, based on the prompt that I gave it and the um, Python program that, uh, that was created, and now I have that Python program, I can vary it to my great delight. So uh, on a different layer, I have a set of points that's a little bit less crazy. So here I did a I did a lesser one as well, and it'll be easier for me to show you how to create the surface that goes through those points. So now I'll say Control W and I'll bring up those points. There they are. And this is a this is a, this is 400 points. This is 20 by 20. And so in order to create a surface that goes through these points. I say uh, menu, insert, surface, and uh, surface through points. Here we go. And uh, the first thing you do is you specify the row and degree um, of the spline math that's going to be behind the points in the surface. And then you say OK. And then um, the, the uh, method that I like is chain within rectangle. So you chain within rectangle. So you make a rectangle around the first row. It asks you for the start and the end. Then you chain the second row. It asks you for the start and the end. You chain the third row, start and end. You chain the fourth row, start and end. And since it's a third order surface, you have to have at least four rows, and then it starts asking you, do you want to specify another row? So you click on specify another row, and start and end, specify another row, start and end, specify another row. So you got to be kind of careful and picking each row, start and end, okay, and so on and so forth. You get the idea. And then you say, okay, uh, specify where you, and then you say, shucks, uh, then you say all points specified, that's what you do, say all points specified, and then it makes a nice little patch for you of all of those points, see? 
So as you can imagine, um, I did that quite quickly. I could have done the whole thing, but I didn't want to waste your time. But if you really want to go crazy, then you do that many points. As you can imagine, it took me quite a while to do that. Let's update the display so we only see those points. There we go. Yeah. And um, I think it's amazing that AI um, wrote me that Python program in minutes or seconds, really. And I don't know Python at all, but now I have a Python program that I can change the uh, parameters on and generate these points. So now I could experiment with different wave uh, amplitudes and wavelengths uh, crashing into each other and interfering. That's amazing. Again, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I think it's amazing what we can do with AI. I think we have to embrace it and ensure that we are using it to its full potential and hopefully using it for all the best things and uh, using it to save us time so that we can create products that will be more beneficial for people. Thank you very much.